10 million AI generations are being given away by Kittle right now for some of their best models, including Nano Banana, Sea Dream 4, Imogen, and Flux. And they're giving these free prompts or free credits away to all of the users, even those on a free plan. And in this video, I will compare the different models to show you which ones to focus on. And I'm also going to show you some updates that Kittle has made to Kittle Flows. So as you can see, I've kind of made a guide right here comparing the different models included in this promo for different styles and different prompts. And we're going to start at the top right here. I'll also make this guide available in the description. You can access it as a template on Kittle if you want to check this out or use any of the prompts yourself. And just to kind of explain the whole deal a little bit better right here, 10 million prompts essentially means that once they're used up, they're used up no matter who's like generating images it all counts towards that 10 million threshold and it's starting on november 1st 2025 and whenever after that 10 million gets hit with the models that are included that's when essentially this deal runs out and the models that are included google image and four nano banana sea dream 4 flux context pro and flux Schnell right here. And especially, in my opinion, some of the models on the left-hand side right here are very, very good. Flux Context Pro isn't bad either. Flux Schnell is not the greatest in my opinion, but that's just based on kind of my experience of using a lot of different AR models regularly. Let's check out different styles because for some style, you might actually want to use Flux over Nano Banana, even though you wouldn't expect it. So let's start off with Patchworks. We've got the prompt on the left right here, Patchwork style is something that has been doing quite well this year uh, it's something you definitely want to be careful with because it does look like embroidery when we're not selling embroidery on amazon merch for example but regardless let's see how these results turned out uh, i do think that nano banana made this look a lot more realistic it actually looks like a patch um, whereas Google Image 4 made it look more like a vector ad, more flat. Then Sea Dream, for some reason, was kind of bleeding off the edge right here. In this case, I'm not sure what I was doing. That happened a few times. So be careful if you're using Sea Dream. Um, the style doesn't look bad. It does look like a very realistic patch right there, but I, I wouldn't really feel comfortable uploading something like this to a t-shirt or a product if it's not with embroidery and just a flat print. This looks really good actually. Flux Context Pro right here had a great result in my opinion. And then Flux Schnell just looks very outdated. AI is okay, but it's, it's not the greatest. Flux Schnell is, I think, one of the fastest, but also one of the worst Flux models. So this is one that I wouldn't focus on too much. Out of this row, I think Flux Pro and Google Image in 4 are actually my favorite. I think Nano Banana also did a good job and definitely looks like patchwork. It's just not my own personal preference in this case. Next up, we've got a watercolor prompt of a cactus wearing a cowboy hat right here. And by the way, stay tuned for the end of this comparison because I'm going to show you some updates to Kittle Flows that will make creating designs a lot more interesting and easier as well. So first of all, we've got Google Image in 4, which did do a really good job of this, I think. It looks very neat watercolor without having too much of like a patch effect around it. Then we've got Nano Banana, which also has a really nice result. Perhaps it looks a little bit more watercolor-esque than the one on the left. And then we have Sea Dream, just also a decent result. Um, in this case, it might be a little bit harder to remove the background right here because of the kind of foggy edge and the very bright flowers. But generally the graphic I think that Sea Dream put out here is very, very nice. We've got Flux Context Pro, which is also a decent result, and Flux Schnell, which is okay. It looks a little bit three-dimensional for the watercolor style, but it's actually not a bad result considering Flux Schnell is probably one of the weakest models in this round. But overall, which one of these results do I think is best? Um, I think Imogen 4 and Nano Banana are kind of the cleanest results over here. These are both Google models, so a good job Google on the, on the watercolor style, but I don't think these results are bad either. I think Flux Context Pro has quite a nice color scheme right here. It does have the sort of typical watercolor blobs or, or shadow fog right here at the bottom, which can be more difficult to remove. Same with Sea Dream. But generally, I think all of these models right here did a decent job. I would just lean towards Google right here if I wanted to create watercolor designs myself. Moving on to the kawaii style, here we've got a unicorn head with a chubby rounded face. And I think both 
Google Image in Nano look quite good right here. Nano does look better in my opinion. I like the kind of layout a little bit more and the fact that it's added some sparkles right here to the edge. The image in 4 looks a little bit boring in comparison. Then if we move over to C Dream, this once again bled off the edge, which I'm not sure why it's doing that sometimes. That must be one of the common AI bugs that we sometimes get. But yeah, Kawaii style also not the greatest fit, I think. Um, I think the Google models did that better. Flux Context Pro result also looks really nice and I don't love the kind of sticker outline right here which you can remove that but it does make the background removal a little bit harder but the style I think looks amazing uh, for Kawaii and then Flux Schnell over here again looks quite three-dimensional more like dough play-doh rather than a, a t-shirt design right here and it's also bleeding off the edge so in this case I think the winners in my opinion are Nana Banana and Flux Context Pro and they both look really really good and definitely hit the style. Imogen 4 is also not bad, um, but C Dream 4 and, and Chanel definitely lost this round and didn't perform very well. Now, if you haven't tried selling Van Gogh designs yet, then I highly recommend it. I just uploaded a new batch a couple of days ago, and one of those designs already sold four times on Amazon Merch. So Van Gogh, definitely very popular right now and has been throughout the entire year pretty much. And uh, Google Imogen 4, does a really good job with this prompt. I definitely think that the Van Gogh style comes through very well with the sky, the swirls right here, the paint strokes. Um, it looks amazing. The colors are quite vibrant too. Nano Banana also does a really good job. It looks very similar, just the colors are a little bit more muted. So that's kind of personal preference there of um, how you would rather have your design displayed, I think. Google Image 4 would pop a little more in search results. Then we have C Dream 4, which didn't do a bad job, but I think it's definitely getting a little bit too dull right here. And the, the sky almost looks a little bit blurry. Flux context is way too dark, in my opinion. It's hard to tell that this is meant to be a Van Gogh painting. It's okay, like the sky, the way that it's displayed, but overall just way too dull. And then Flux Schnell doesn't really do the job right here. It just looks like a random starry sky, not really one in the Van Gogh painting style. So yeah, overall, again, the Google models doing really well. C Dream 4 isn't bad either. So that could be an option for the Van Gogh style. It just kind of depends on your personal preference right here. Google Imaging 4, in my opinion, is the best because it really stands out with its vibrant colors. Moving on to the Drip style, another one that's been very popular throughout 2025. So let's see how the models compare here. Um, Google Imaging 4, I think, did an okay job. The the shape of the background is not really correct. It's okay. Um, don't love it, to be honest. I think there, there could be a better result. Nana Banana is quite small. Sometimes it does that, where it places the graphic very, very small in the middle. It's okay. It's not the, not the greatest result. I think Sea Dream 4 is looking a little bit better. It has some more highlights right here. And yeah, the drip effect looks very good. It just seems to have mimicked a t-shirt right here at the top, which is obviously not what we intended. Then Flux Context Pro does look pretty good. It does have some more paint splatters, more of a drip effect right here, and definitely has very vibrant colors. So Context Pro right here, actually getting a pretty good result. And Flux Schnell, again, kind of falling apart. I think by now, you know that if you want to really take advantage of this promo, don't really bother generating images with Flux Schnell. You want to probably focus more on these models on the left. It's just down to this style right here. So I think Sea Dream and Flux Context Pro do a pretty good job of this style, whereas Nano Banana and Google are not amazing. At least in my opinion, right? It's, it's also somewhat personal preference. But there we go. That's the comparison for drip designs. But let's look at some Christmas designs as well. So I've got a prompt right here for this is my Christmas pajama shirt. And yeah, first of all, Google Image in 4, I think knocked it out of the pack. This looks amazing, very nicely balanced and the Christmas light decorations look perfect. The Christmas hat with the slant right here, a few snowflakes. Yeah, very, very nice design indeed. Then we have Nano Banana, um, which is okay. I think surprising the image is, is kind of winning the aesthetic war quite often right here against Nano Banana. And I think that's something that also proves that Nano is kind of difficult to get a nice result with if he's starting from a prompt. It's really, really good for speed and for doing things in bulk. 
and iterating designs, making changes to designs. But when it comes to creating a nice design from a prompt only, some of the other models do slightly better. This is not a bad result, but I would definitely choose Imogen 4 over Nano in this case. Then C Dream 4 definitely looks festive right here, but again, it is having some of the graphics bleed off of the edge. Not a big fan of that. If that wasn't the case, I think this would be a really nice result also. Bold, nice font right here. The, the Christmas hat is kind of blocking the word this a little bit, but besides that, okay result. Flux Context Pro looks really good as well, in my opinion. Um, this is actually a really nice result. This is my Christmas pajama shirt, all spelled correctly. And then Flux Chanel right here does look a little bit weird. Um, this is my Christmas, all right, it's got two T's and pajamas spelled wrong too. So this is not very accurate with text and the uh, Christmas decor also looks kind of strange right here. So I think Flux Context Pro and Imogen 4 look the best in this case. Um, all of these are pretty good with spelling, all of the models besides Flux Schnell, so that's definitely good news. And yeah, if, you, if you're looking for a Christmas design, I think focus on Flux Context Pro or Google Imaging 4 in this case. And the second to last comparison before we move on to the Kittle Flows updates is for the retro illustration style, another really popular style um, throughout 2025. Google Imaging 4 did a pretty good job right here. I do like the layout, very balanced. It does have some kind of halftone shading effect going on right here. Yeah, the font, very bold, easy to read. Definitely, definitely looking good. Nana Banana, um, also a nice result. This is more of a one color design as compared to Imaging 4 right here, which has a few more colors added in, which is quite nice. The font is serif, um, which suits the style quite well. It's perhaps a little bit harder to read though in direct comparison, but that's not a big issue. It's still a clean font. We do have some half toning effect going on at the bottom. So yeah, this is definitely a great result. Also, Sea Dream 4 looks amazing. To be honest, I really like this result because the half tone texture is kind of scattered around different elements, the, the palm trees, it's in the umbrella, it's in the goose, and the text, the font looks great it's serif but it's very bold um, we've got a little bit of orange in the actual goose as well which i think makes this graphic really stand out so yeah overall i think sea dream did amazing right here flux context pro is also a decent result but in comparison to the others i think it looks a little bit worse in terms of its layout and its structure right here and also the goose i think not really chilling on the floaty as compared to the other ones looks worse in my opinion and flux Schnell just doesn't bring home this style at all. Um, looks very, very flat and yeah, not good with the goose whatsoever. So in this case, I actually think Sea Dream 4 did a great job. So don't underestimate this model. It might not have won a lot of these comparisons, but it can sometimes get some really, really good results. So yeah, Nano, Google Image 4, both great results for this style, but Sea Dream 4 actually, I think, perhaps the best in this example. And lastly, we've got a floral t-shirt design prompt, a blessed to be called Mama. Google Image in 4 um, does quite well in this case, but I think Nano Banana does look nicer, to be honest. It does have the floral style down a little bit better. And then Sea Dream 4, in this case, almost looks like, like a watercolor style, which was not specified in the actual prompt. Flux context, Pro is also not a bad example, but um, I don't love the way the word mama is spelled right here, or that the font looks very wonky, but the, the floral effect at the top is actually okay. Again, leaning towards the watercolor a little bit. Flux Chanel, yeah, just mess this up. It's just way too much text. It's duplicated a word, and also the floral effect doesn't look that great. So just to summarize this, or kind of look at them from afar, I would say definitely Nano, looks the best, it's follow the prompts the best as well. We've got pastely colors, we've got a nice clean floral effect. Uh, the word mama, very easy to read, whereas here on, on Google Image Inside, it's a little bit tougher. Um, yeah, I think the win definitely goes with the Google models. My personal preference for a floral style t-shirt design would be Nano Banana. So let's talk about the updates to Kittle Flows. So previously, what we were kind of limited to is creating smart boards or adding them onto one original image right here. You could kind of branch out from one smart board and have a bit of a, a sequence for more efficiency and more speed. But what you couldn't do is you couldn't combine multiple ad boards or smart boards into one, which you can now do if you hover over this plus symbol and then click and drag, then attach this to 
one existing smart build. So as you can see, we can now combine multiple images right here or multiple designs into one. So if you click on the smart board, you can now say, merge these two designs and their styles. And you have the choice of four different models right here, Seed Dream 4, GPT Image 1 HD, Nano Banana, and GPT Image 1. This is essentially just a faster and less accurate version of the HD version of GPT Image. So for this example, let's just start off perhaps with Nano Banana just for speed, hit generate on this and see what comes out. And then I'm going to show you some other example workflows and how to utilize this for your print on demand designs. And there we go, the two have merged very seamlessly and we now have an astronaut cat surrounded by a floral pattern down here. Another example of this would be where I've combined this kind of drip style psychedelic effect with a template that I found on Kittle. So these are actual text layers right here and heart graphics. This is an actual Kittle template. And I basically just said, apply the style of the six, seven design to the we just need love design. And then with GPT image one HD, this was the result. So it's definitely merged the two designs very well in this case. I also tested this with some of the other models just you can kind of get an idea which one does this best. Sea Dream 4 not really applying the drip effect very much and turning this a little bit more neon. Then down here we've got GPT Image 1 so this is the faster version and whilst it does have this kind of psychedelic pattern the drip effect doesn't carry across very well and Nano Banana in this case I think failed to do the task properly. I'm not sure what happened there it does have some drips right here but the uh, pattern is only on the hats so yeah not sure why nano messed up there you can even combine three images or more into one design which i think is a really really cool use case especially in this example right here it worked very well where we have one of the van gogh designs from our earlier comparison one of the cacti and then we've got this uh, capybara right here eating ramen and in this case uh, i combined them all into one smart board and said combine these three designs into one and merge their style with uh, the gpt image one hd model this turned out fantastically it looks really really good right here and definitely did a good job of seamlessly merging these into one taking different elements from each this is the same prompt with nano banana which also did a good job it did not carry over the initial hedgehog right here but it's definitely merged the designs together quite well the cactus is also missing but it's added the uh, cowboy hat onto the capybara in this case so there is definitely elements from each input in this final design then we have gpt image one so the non-hd version which i think did an okay job but um the cactus looks a little bit messy the ramen doesn't look accurate anymore so this is definitely not the go-to model i would say for this new workflow and then Sea Dream 4 also did a decent job, definitely combining all of the elements, the Van Gogh Starry Night. We've got the cactus, the cowboy hats moved on to, onto the capybara, and the hedgehog is even still there as well. So nice job right there by Sea Dream, Nano Banana, and GPT Image 1 HD. If you want to get better at using Kittle Flows, check out this tutorial next, where I show you how to use it in combination with one of the best AR models right now, Nano Banana.